given that the log to the base A of 16 is 4 thirds and that log to the base A of 3 is equal to 0.528, evaluate log to the base A of the cube root of 144. To do this, we am going to need two identities for logarithms. First, if I take the logarithm base A of a number raised to power b, I'm allowed to take that power and bring it down in front of our expression. So it moves from there to there. Next, if I have the log of a product, I'm allowed to rewrite it as the sum of two logs. So I take the logarithm of x times y, that's just going to be the logarithm of x plus the logarithm of y. All right, let's see how we make this work for the cube root of 144. Now, first thing I'll do is write cube root of 144 is 144 to the 1 third. Then I'm allowed to take that exponent, move it out in front. Okay, now I want to take a look at 144. So we're interested in log of 16 and log of 3, so I want to factor this into terms that reflect those two factors. So 144 is going to be equal to 16 times 9, and 9 is going to be 3 times 3. So we'll split accordingly. And then note, I can write 9 as 3 squared. I can take that square and then move it out in front of our term here. Okay, so here we just split, rewrite that as 3 squared, and then move the 2 to the front. If you notice, we're given log of 16, that's 4 thirds, and then log of 3 is going to be 0.528. So I have everything I need, so I can crunch this down, and then I get 0.796. Okay, bonus round, find A. So I have my expression log to the base A of 16 equals 4 thirds. So remember, how do you rewrite that? So what logarithm produces is the exponent. What logarithm says is, find the exponent such that if you put it over A, you get the number here. So what we're really trying to solve is A to the 4 thirds equals 16. Okay, 16 is equal to 2 to the 4th power, so I'll be able to cancel out the 4th powers here. So it's just going to be A to the 1 third equal to 2. And that can cube both sides, so I wind up getting a equal to 8. Now, as a check, I'll take 8. Okay, well, this is supposed to be an exponent here. If I take 8 to the 0.528, okay, you put that in your calculator, you're expecting to get a 3 out right there. And if you do that, you'll see that it pans out. 